So uh, we are in this deep gorge and we are on the uh, on the way to try to get to some uh, coal drift mines that date back to the early 1900s. So this is the only route that you can take to get there is through this deep gorge and up. So very picturesque uh, as you make your way down through the gorge. The uh, drift mines will be further up this way. So anyway, it's a scenic hike along the uh, creek here to get to them. Okay, so uh, we are still making our way uh, through this gorge and the cold drift vines are going to be around the corner of that rock face and up near the top. So we've got to make our way around the creek here and then start climbing to get to this series of cold drift mines. Uh, not a bad hike, i tell you one thing, it's very scenic though. Okay, so uh, we believe how high this uh, facing is. So uh, that's about a good six, seven hundred feet up. That that's the first coal drift mine is directly ahead where that dark spot is. So we're gonna go and see what it looks like here in a second. If not, we might be off of here and it'll be around the rock face there. Okay. Uh, I think Mr. Box is right over there at the mine opening. But right here, you can actually see the coal seam underneath this huge escarpment right here. So that's pretty impressive, man. It's about, uh, supposed to be about a 36 inch coal seam. So. My hat's off to these guys being able to find this coal seam. Anyway, these mines date back to the early 1900s. Okay, so uh, we actually made it to the spot of one of these coal drift mines in this gorge and it's open. Mr. Box had this light. He said it goes back there a good ways. Oh, there it is. Don't know how far it goes back, but you can definitely see the coal seam. My question is, how do they get the coal up out of here, out of this deep gorge? But I guess uh, I guess do some more research, try to find out. But anyway, very interesting site for a coal mine. Uh, it's a nice. Beautiful hike just to try to reach these series. It's supposed to be two more, and we'll just see if we can find them. Hi. Right. I'm going to push through and see if it opens up. All right, Mr. Box. He's going to head on back. That's uh. Most likely a little bit too much for the low ceiling for myself, but Mr. Box being ambidextrous, it's nothing. So, anyway, very historic coal mines. Operated for about, uh, best guess, about 15 years. There goes Mr. Box into the coal drift mine. All right, I'm going to push through and see if it opens up. All right, Mr. Box, he's going to head on back. That's uh, more like a little bit too much for the low ceiling for myself, but Mr. Box being ambidextrous, it's not. So. Anyway, very historic coal mines. Operated for about, uh, best guess, about 15 years. Yeah, so this mine right here is early 1900s. And as you heard, glow stick films 
operated for about 15 years. right here or if it opens up All right, it looks like I thought this was a right heading but they didn't dig too far so maybe not Looks like it's completely collapsed right here. All right, he's uh, evaluating the situation back there, taking a sit, and not sure how far he can go, but he's gonna give it a good try. But uh, just the location of uh, these drift mines is something else. And I mean, just so quite clearly when they were, uh, doing some uh, surveying and geologists were here you could just see the coal seam from you know from the creek i mean it's more than evident right there so it looks like he's got a little room to stand up there so i'll wait back and uh, see what he has to say so it looks like it didn't go too far he's going ahead and coming on out so, we may see if, may see if we can uh, locate a couple of more of these mines. Not sure. It took, uh, took about an hour and a half to get down here. So, but uh, very historic mine, and the location is incredible. All right, he made it. All right, uh, Mr. Box reported back, and uh, it's uh, collapsed. He said about uh, 300 feet in or more. So, anyway, well, it's a noble effort. Uh, it took a little time to find this one to get down here. So, but anyway, absolutely scenic place for a cold drift mine. All right, and if we can't find anything else, uh, you know, good field trip to get down here. Okay, uh, we left the uh, coal drift mine. Mr. Box went in down here. So we just came along uh, the top right here where the coal seam is. And you can just clearly see it's evident about uh, three feet of coal. And, uh, but we did not locate any of the, the two other drift mines that are supposed to be in this area. They could be further down, but uh, we're kind of on a schedule here, so we don't want to spend too much time because it did take a while to hike down in here, two and a half miles. But uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and just call this trip. But absolutely gorgeous scenery. A very unique for, place for a coal mine operation. That's for sure, but very few places that you get to see the exposed coal seam and to see what is over it so all right well good trip nonetheless